How are we doing tonight, folks? Oh, there it is. It's good to see you all. Oh, gosh, it is so good to be back in Paducah. I cannot express that enough. Um, I, you know, I recently moved away from Paducah, and I love, I love telling people that I'm from Paducah because when you tell someone you're from Paducah, they don't exactly know that Paducah is a city. You know, they don't really know what to make of it because to most people, Paducah sounds kind of like a southern drug. You know, it's like, they're like, are you smoking marijuana? No, I'm smoking Paducah. <laughs> I see rainbows, you know, and so it's really nice to be back. It's, I love it here. Um, I want to tell you guys a couple things. Like you said, my name is Barton Christmas, just like the holiday. My grandmother's name is Merry Christmas. Uh, my dogs are named Holly, Jingle Bells, and Mistletoe, and uh, I'm Jewish, so um, I'm just kidding. I'm not Jewish. You knew I wasn't Jewish. I said I'm from Paducah. We don't have Jews here. Um, no, but it's good to be here tonight. It's good to be here. Uh, I recently moved to Nashville. I'm uh, from Nashville, just like the band that we've got tonight. And moving from Paducah to Nashville is a little bit of a change, as I'm sure you can imagine. Like moving to Nashville, you've, you've got to change a lot of the ways of life that you do. You know, like when you go, it's like, welcome to the Nashville Department of Motor Vehicles. We're going to check out your car. Just make sure you're ready to drive in Nashville. We're just going to check out a couple things. Armored plating. You're going to need a lot of armored plating to drive in Nashville. That's going to help you on I-24. We're going to take your windshield wipers. We're going to give you two giant middle fingers. Those are going to be helpful during rush hour, actually. Oh, you're from Kentucky. Okay, we're going to take those middle fingers. We're going to give you two crosses. Two crosses. Those will remind people that Jesus is watching when they're driving. Yes, there we go. You're ready to drive in Nashville. Thank you very much. No, but it's nice, you know. Nashville is a different kind of city because it's a city, but it's like a southern city, you know. So the city means that there's all kinds of stuff going on, but it's southern. So you know the people are still, you know, they're still good southern people. So I recently went to, uh, to a hockey game. They've got hockey in Nashville. Hockey's really big. they got Nashville Preds. They've got like a high school hockey league. It was crazy. So I go to the game, and I'm expecting it to be a little bit different, you know, because it's hockey. I'd never seen hockey before. But all the moms were there just like it was a football game. I watched this guy skate down the ice, and this woman, I presume his mother, goes, slap that biscuit. And I was like, yes, yes, we are still in the South. This is beautiful. So uh, before I go, I want to I wanna introduce the band. I want to tell you guys about what we've got tonight. We've got a really great show coming up for you. We've got the raffle, like we mentioned, and we've got a little bit, of, a little bit more stand-up going on in the middle of the show. But the band that we've got tonight, guys, I can't tell you just how incredible this group is. They're coming to us uh, from Nashville. They're coming live tonight. This group has a sound like no other, and as you can see on the stage, they have more instruments than the New York Philharmonic. I cannot express that enough. You guys are really in for a treat. So without further ado, please put your hands together. We're going to welcome to the stage Polly. <laughs> tragedy.
So yeah, obviously, Cary Grant was married five times. I'm just, you know, hoping to go back in time, I guess, because he's dead. <laughs> I missed my shot. This next song is, well, I don't have a lot to say about it because it's pretty self-explanatory. It's about uh, changing your mind about jumping out of an airplane, um, but after you already jumped out of the airplane. It's a little late, right? It's a little late, but just, I was just thinking about what that would maybe feel like because I don't really ever want to do that. And I know that right now, but what if I didn't? I thought it was a great idea, and then I went for it, and I realized, no, it's not. So this is, I think, how I would feel. Ready? Thank you. The first time my mom heard that song, she got really scared at the end. <laughs> and she was like, she was sitting on the floor in front of us. We were playing a, a show where people just kind of sat on the floor. And she was sitting right in front of me and she was making, she was making this face. <laughs> and then afterward, we were, after we were done, she was like, were they okay? And I was like, I don't know, it's a song. <laughs> they, they don't actually exist, it's fine, everything's fine. I don't know if there's a rhyme or reason for the way you hold me tight, but the feeling's right and love is so in season. Maybe we should give it a go. Now you've got your love 
and arms around me There's one thing I want to do Have you got a clue? A kiss is what I'm after Maybe we should give it a go oh, Maybe we should give it a go Some folks go for entertainment Some folks go for getting wild Weber. She's our dear friend and she's joining us tonight. Thank you, thank you. She's a wonderful violinist and also very good at playing the glockenspiel mallets to sound like uh, brushes on a snare drum. So a lot of the songs that we write are not like the one you just heard that are like nice, a nice little love song that it's about love, or a sad love song that's about love, or like an angry love song that's about love. Uh, most of the songs uh, that you're gonna hear, or a great deal of them that you're gonna hear tonight are about uh, inanimate objects or animals. So, so far you haven't yet heard a song about an animal, which is amazing, uh, but the next song that we have for you guys is a tango about an animal, and maybe you can listen to it and guess what kind of animal you think it is. <laughs> Trying to run our 
dance is done But dinner's just begun Thanks, guys. Uh, anyone have a guess? Anyone have a guess about what kind of animal? It's a spider. And you <laughs> have, your prize is that you get to help us load all of this back into our van. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. Luckily, it's not spider season right now. We've got about five months, five months until spider season. Dan just, he literally just found a spider yesterday, though, and uh, while up. practicing. I found two spiders, two spiders yesterday. Didn't you find another spider in a coffee cup? That's true. Well, it, it was a martini glass, but you know. <laughs> this instrument is called a laoud, and it is from the Philippines, which is where my mother's from. Um, and my dad, who is from a tiny town in southern Illinois, learned how to make them. So he made this with his own hands. Um, what we discovered was that a lot of these traditional instruments, this is a part of a, um, like an orchestra in the Philippines. It's called a rondalia. It includes this, another instrument called the octavina, another instrument called the vanduria, which, have you played vanduria yet, Dan? No, it is in that case right there. Which you'll see Dan play later. It's a little version of this. Um, and a bass and a guitar. Um, and they got to stay to the second set for that one. Right? Yeah, you got to stay to the second set for that one. It's very cool, though. Um, they, they're not really played very much anymore. So when we tried to buy one, uh, we weren't able to find them in the Philippines. And the ones that we were able to find were like kind of made of plywood or they were so old that they were falling apart. So my dad decided as a gift to my mother to learn how to build them, and he has succeeded quite well. And they've actually started a rondalia in their hometown of Ithaca, New York. So he's made a whole orchestra's worth of instruments like this, and then a few extras for me. So this is a special, I kind of consider my dad to be like a member of the band because he's made so many of the instruments that make Polly special. So. Yeah, that's a nice little story about the instruments that we use. This next song is about a bird.
This might be one of my favorites that we've come up with, and it also might be one of the most difficult songs to execute that we've ever tried to do. Uh, how many instruments do you play on this song, Dan? Let's find out. No, we'll like estimate. I don't know. Two, three. Three? Yeah, he's gonna play one song, <laughs> or one instrument on this song. Not true, not true. It's gonna be like 18 instruments. Yeah, I suggest you not pay any attention to what we're doing over here and just watch Dan like a hawk. That's gonna make him feel great. <laughs> don't look at me. <laughs> don't. don't look at me, except that I'm wearing this velour pink, <laughs> pink jacket that's just screaming, look at me. <laughs> it's true. It looks great though. Doesn't he look great? This is Dan Summers, everyone. <laughs> when I met Dan, <laughs> I was so happy. <laughs> Before. When I met Dan, he did not have this many instruments. <laughs> this is what I've done to him. <laughs> Sorry. I love you. You're great. Good job. Yeah, he's slowly over the course of several years, this happened. Did you already have the trumpet? Yes. Okay. It started with the trumpet. The tiny trumpet. Not a pink one, though. Oh, you got the pink one for me. Not for you. <laughs> you got the pink one to match your jacket. <laughs> no. Okay. We're going to play we're going to play another song about an animal. Inch by inch, measure, measure, measure. It's a cinch, but I got no time for leisure. The world is big and I can only measure inch by inch. I got a job and I know how to do it. Eat, 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 chomp it and then chew it. I'd like to see this world that I have measured. Maybe one of these days I'm gonna be flying high above.
Thank you. Uh, this next song is one written by our lovely Kristen Weber. I'm excited. This is the first song I ever wrote, and I wrote it when I was a little freshman, coming from a little tiny town in Indiana and going to school in Boston and sitting in a, a little practice room at music school in Boston, being so homesick, feeling like I had made a big mistake by coming to this giant city, and I wrote this little song. Oh, We also went to the same college, so I know, I probably know which, what you're talking about. She probably exactly. knows exactly what lonely, cold practice room <laughs> I'm talking about. It was the 150 building, was it? It yeah. was, yeah. 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 Kristen Weber, ladies and gentlemen. Sidewalk chalk will never stay to see me through a rainy day. The peace of it wash away. Oh, sidewalk chalk will never stay. I bought a box to keep 
keep for good and now I know I misunderstood one piece may only last a day oh sidewalk chuck will never stay I want the dog I the dog I do 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 I do
the trumpet, or trombone, sorry, and the siren. Lovely Amazon purchases. If you have any questions about where we get all our weird junk, Amazon. So as I said earlier, there's no guitar allowed in this band. We have a few rules. One of the rules is no guitar. No guitar allowed ever. Never. Uh, maybe that's because we live in Nashville and every person in Nashville plays the guitar. Everyone, every single person. You see somebody walking down the street, they probably play the guitar. Uh, so it's easy to get kind of tired of the guitar living in Nashville, because they're literally everywhere. So that was one of our first, first, very first rules, no guitar. So this might look like a guitar, but it is not a guitar. Uh, it used to be a guitar. <laughs> It's true, it did. The body, the, body, the body itself used to be guitar, um, but my dad made it into a mandocello. So uh, it's tuned like a cello, which is why I know how to play it. <laughs> and uh, it's in the mandolin family. So like a mandolin is like a violin, and a mandocello is like a cello. So it kind of has that guitar range but it's not one, so that's how we get around that. What are our other rules, Dan? What are our other what? Our rules, our other rules for the band. There are other rules. Uh, three of us. Everything on the record has to be able to be replicated live with the three of us, so the recording is uh, not crazy overdubs or whatever, it just, it is, exactly how it will be played. Um, what are our other rules? No drums, no real drums. Yeah, no drum set. Uh, and uh, one of our other rules is nothing that you need to plug, that you need to plug into electricity. Oh, yes. So, so yeah. All acoustic, no guitar. Yeah. We're obviously plugged in to amplify it, but. Yeah, so this is what happens to Dan when he's not allowed to use guitar pedals. You gotta collect other things to make weird sounds with. Uh, this is the first song that Dan and I ever wrote together, I think, right? Correct. Yeah. Uh, it's about there not being enough time for anything. Kicking the clock, I'm always kicking the clock. I want the hands to come on. Kicking the clock, I'm always kicking the clock. I want the hands to come on. Kicking the clock so I can do what I want. I want the hands to come off and I'll be free. I want the hands to come off so I can 
We're going to have Kristen Weber sing this next one for us. Also, when I first met Dan, he did not know how to play the xylophone. <laughs> Are you trying to take credit for my... <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, so this next song is the song that we have that's about an inanimate object. Uh, it is about, it is a love song. I know I said that we, I know I said that we don't really have a lot of love songs but this is a very true love song, and it is uh, about scissors. Uh, I probably use scissors every day for something, and then one day I thought about what my life would be like without them, and it was really sad and depressing. Like, how would you cut your hair? Or like, how would you cut gum out of your hair? I don't know. I don't know You're what I would. You're supposed to use peanut butter. You're not supposed to cut it out. You don't have to cut it out. You're ruining my joke, Dan. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> but anyway, I'll just take a second and think about like what you would do without them. I don't know. I don't <laughs> Let's know take a moment of silence. Just, moment of silence for the <laughs> we possibility. We just really need to fill the 45 minutes of, ne <laughs> of never having scissors again. <laughs> also, who invented scissors? That's so cool. They're just two knives put together. They're great. Anyway, this is about how much I love scissors. <laughs> and another thing. And another <laughs> thing. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> Set 
of shears, of shears, a trusty set of shears. Of shears, of shears, a trusty set of shears. A cut can reveal someone's last meal, the coroner says with pride. But hands only make little fingernail cuts. While a scissor can make And show your scissors a little love tonight. Ooh. I mean, not in a gross way. Sounds Just dangerous. you know, like cut a cut a little shape out of something. You know. <laughs> do some scrapbooking. <laughs> do some scrapbooking. You can't do scrapbooking without scissors. Sewing, sewing. You can't do sewing without scissors either. This song is about a cat. <laughs>
crossing my path, and he's just skin, skin and, and bones. bones. I want to take, take him home. Two, three, four. <laughs> just recently came back from a three week long trip to the Philippines to visit family there. And uh, while I was there, I was sitting on the beach and I was thinking about missing loved ones and how it's kind of hard sometimes to be in a beautiful place when you're missing someone that you love. So that's what this song is about. We're Polly. Again, this is Kristen Weber here on the violin and the ukulele and the beautiful voice. Uh, I'm Larissa Maestro, and this is Dan Summers on the everything, everything. Um, we've got one more song for you, and it is about my cat. And uh, his name is Walter Cronkat. <laughs> he is... I say this every time, and Dan's always like, you're just going to say that thing every time, but it's true. He is an award-winning feline, feline broadcast, broadcast journalist. journalist. <laughs> <laughs> he always lets me know what's going on in other rooms, 
I don't know what he's saying, but yeah, this is, this is about him. He was a very curious kitten, as most kittens are. Uh, but I started sort of singing this song to him as I was you know, following him around the house, watching him getting in, into mischief. And then one day Dan was like, what's that song you're singing? And I was like, oh, it's just a little song about Walter. And he was like, so when are we finishing it? <laughs> and I was like, that's not a real song. It's just this little song I wrote for Walt. And he was like, no, that's a Polly song. <laughs> and he was right. Um, this, uh, As he so often did. Oh, he's always right, yeah. <laughs> this is uh, our last song, Hi, We're Polly, and thanks so much for joining us tonight. No cappuccino. Biblioteca 